Hello guys, how are you doing? This time I'm all here with a very exciting news. That means Deck Sundays. We are going to start a new deck series that would let you know all about the decks. Myself, I have faced a lot of challenges in decks, but one thing which I got to know is that it's simple, it's easy, and it would help you out a lot in terms of using in Power BI desktop or in a tableau model. So stay tuned with us till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know all about the decks. The very first question comes, what is DEX? Well guys, DEX is the abbreviation as data analysis expression. This would help you to create new information from the data already in your model. It is like a formula which we are being used in Excel, but it is not the same. And thirdly, it's a formula based language that helps us to get the more information from the data model. Why do we need DAX? Somebody was asking me earlier, okay, does it really important to learn DAX? Well, my answer is that you can do a lot of things without DAX too. But if you have DAX, then you can get much more from the data. So whenever we have data in different uh, sources, we can get the data, we load the data into Power BI dataset. Once the data in our Power BI dataset, then we apply the DAX to calculate or to create calculated column or measures that's being used in the reports. The Power BI DAX includes a library over 200 functions, operators and constructs. Its library provides immense flexibility in creating measures to calculate results for just about data analysis need. Prerequisites. Well, there is a good news. There is none of the prerequisites for learning the DEX. It's similar to the Excel. If you are aware about using the formulas in Excel, that's very good. And if you don't, then nothing to worry. We can still manage it and we can learn. It comes to the syntax of the DEX. Well, guys, you should remember that every language, every formula based language or any programming language, they have syntax how to write that thing. So, for example, if I'll talk about this formula, total order, where I'm getting the total order from the sales table. In the sales table, I have a column which is the order quantity. Now, let me explain you what it is saying. The very first is the measure name. Over here, I am creating a measure total order. Now you see the equal operator. It indicates the beginning of the formula. Then you see the sales. This is the name of the table. Order quantity, it is the column that I'm using this DEX formula. And then you can see the sum. It's a function, DEX function, which would help you to calculate the sum of the order quantities. And now there are two parentheses which surround an expression that contains one or more arguments. All functions require at least one argument. An argument passes a value to a function. Now let's consider about the structure of the DEX. DEX has syntax, context, filter context and functions. In syntax, we just saw how a syntax work which, compri uh, which comprises of various components that makes up a formula and how it's written. Context is one of the important of the three DEX concepts. When one speaks of context, this may refer to one of the two types, whether it's a row context or the filter context. Filter context is a little more difficult to understand than the row context. However, filter context is being used to filter the data. And we will learn while using the different DEX functions in our future videos how to use it. Functions. Functions are predefined, structured and ordered formulae in DEX. They perform calculations using arguments passed on them. These arguments can be numbers, text, logical values and other functions. Now, as I discussed, there are measures and calculated columns. So now we are going to understand what is the difference between a measures and a calculated column. Well, let's start with the calculated column. In calculated column, they operate in the context of the current row across the table. So you can see on my screen, there is one red box over there, which is saying new column. So this helps us 
to extend the table to add more column based on certain conditions or certain logic in them. You cannot directly access the values of other rows. They are computed during the database processing and then stored in the model. But you should remember that unlike SQL calculated columns, they require more space and they do occupy space in memory. That means they are RAM consuming. So we should be very much careful when using them. And whenever the data is getting refreshed, they get refreshed or they occupy data in the memory. Now let's talk about the measures. Well, measures, these are helpful when you do not want to compute values over each row rather than you want to compute values over a cell. They use the aggregated values for many rows in a table. A measure is evaluated in the context of the cell while our com calculated column is, the, is in the context of the row. A measure needs to be defined in a table. However, you can move it into from one table to another or even you can create another table for the measures as a best practice. You should remember that we have two types of measures in Power BI. One is the explicit and one another is the implicit measures. So we will discuss them in another videos, not over here. So these are the very uh, core concepts about the calculated column and measures. Now, what should I use? Like, uh, should I go for the measures or the calculated columns? Well, that depends on the context, whether we are applying on the row level or the cell level. Most of the aggregations that we compute, so for example, year over year percentage or the MTD values or previous MTD and all, in all those cases, we have to create the measure. But for example, I just need to know if a column, uh, whether it's, uh, I should give it a color green or red or my context is in the row level, then definitely I will go for the calculated columns. So guys, stay tuned for more videos and if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment in the comment section. Please do like us and subscribe us on our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more videos. Thank you so much.